Hello. 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 Good night. How are you today? Hi. Good evening. I'm, I'm sorry. Teacher. Well, a little bit tired. <laughs> From the call center. Yes, but because today it was my day off, I went, well, I go, I went out to eat a lot local <laughs> because here in Santana City are like in the, I don't know, yes, ah, yeah, holiday, yes, 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 um, until today I have the opportunity to went out <laughs> and oh. at least eat. <laughs> it's a free day. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Today is my free day. Okay, that is that is okay. I I I I thought it was over already. When 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 are they finishing? It's going to be the last day on Sunday, I guess, because oh. later they move into San Salvador, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They are coming to San Salvador. I'm going to Santa Ana on this Sunday. I will oh, go, really? Yeah, with a group of friends. They, we, they are teachers also, but they are teachers in Minel, in, in oh. public schools. And I met them because uh, we both learned now what. So oh, really? Yes, and we are going to El Congo. Oh, like a school? Mm, yeah, and we we have a person. One of the teachers are from there. Is from there, and she's living like in a. Mm, it's not uh, like a. Katash. But it's a kind of, ella vive como en el campo, mm. bien bonito. Entonces este es como otro ambiente, así que vamos a ir, vamos a, hacemos ceremonias y rituales nahuatl. <laughs> oh. I, I, I like that, yeah, I like that. So, es como, ellas, ellas se llaman el Consejo de Mujeres de Cusgatan. Cusgatan es... Eh, ¿Cómo es que se llama Cucatlán, verdad? Entonces, así se llaman ellas, el Consejo de Mujeres de Gulgatán. So, oh, una... it's like an uh, organization to help people or to teach the language. Mm, both, both, because both of them, uh, all of them, when, well, uh, all of them knows Nahuatl. All of them know Nahuatl. So, the, the, but one of them is, um, the da is a dancing teacher, es una maestra de, de danza, entonces ella, este, como este se llama, ella sí hasta un libro ha sacado, el ABC del Nahuatl se llama, y es bien famosa ella. Oh, pero, great. Yeah, it's, it's really good, and, and eh, como la presencia de la mujer era bien importante en los Nahuatl, ¿verdad? Entonces, eh, Santa Ana en, en, en Nahuatl se dice si Huatigagan. Si Guatehuagan, así es, si Guatehuagan. Entonces, este, como todas, todas ellas son de Santana. Así que vamos a hacer elotes locos, vamos a hacer varias cosas, como una comida especial. Uh, it's going to be delicious. <laughs> I, I love elote loco, I love elote loco. Así, es una... Me cosa. too. Oh, yo puedo comer hasta tres. <laughs> oh, really? No. Uh, me only one... And I choose like the bigger one today. Uh, I I said to the to the person, right? Mm -hmm. Give me the bigger one, <laughs> please. Yeah. Y hay feria y todo. Sí, una vez fui una amiga mía también I, ahí. I went to the cathedral, and specifically know where are like the, to the what? To the cathedral. What is that? Like Capital. the park. No, the cathedral is la catedral. Ah, the cathedral. Uh -huh, yeah, cathedral. Ajá, ya. Cathedral. Okay, uh -huh. cathedral. Ajá. Uh -huh. Yes. Yeah, that is as well, that here. 
Did you did you have tortas? I love them. <laughs> no. <laughs> and the other thing that I love is going to Tazumal Pyramid and Pyramid and the, to eat yuca. Yuca with pork. With <laughs> uh, yeah, I love it. And to buy some things from Jay. I have my Nawal. Do you know what is Nawal? No. Okay, Nawal is, is the, uh, let me show you. I have it here. Okay. Oh. <laughs> I didn't know what was that really. <laughs> Is it something like uh, for protection because it's jade? Jade, you know, it's jade. And this is jade. And it's, um, the Nawal is, 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 is the, it's like the zodiac, but it's from the Mayans. And you give to these ladies that are selling uh, around the, the pyramid, you, you tell your birthday, and they tell you what is your Nawal and they are uh, looking for your, your stone. And that is, this is not, uh, I remember it's $4 each one, but it's pure J is really, really, uh, where? let's see. It's nice. Yeah, and I see it there. Yeah, it's like, it's nice, yeah. I love it. It's like a protection. And then I went to Sonsonate, to Izalco. They made a ceremony. And uh, on December 21st, or January, I don't remember, or February, I don't remember. So it, it was a very special ceremony with the shaman. And they uh, like uh, put the energy to the, energy to the, to the, to my color. To my necklace and now is 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 different it has my energy and it has my my well it's it's really nice i know you i don't know if you believe on that but i believe <laughs> well in my case not really or not at all um i don't used to do that <laughs> yeah but you know it is okay. Okay. Okay, it's okay. So uh, maybe you're the only yeah. one joining us because Jenny is at the church. Yes, Jenny is at the church. He was yeah. here, she was here yesterday and also Ana Maria, but they were the only the only ones connected because the the all the contents are already done, right? Have you finished the contents of the of the class? Yes, I believe I finished on Monday. Mm. I so was... did you get your diploma? Yes. Okay. Okay, so if you since you are the only one, I don't know if you want to make conversation as we are doing to practice your English, or if you want a, a special top a special topic that you want to, to touch in order to learn more just because you are the only one so we can do anything we want <laughs> okay that's amazing um, <laughs> uh -huh. i try to be a practice probably because you know some usually i only practice my language at a job but it is just with the normal cold flow that I need to follow, right? But as well, sometimes it is necessary to, I don't know, have more topics to talk, you know, mm -hmm. and practice with another people. Mm -hmm. Okay. What kind of topics do you want to practice? Or what else? What Do your account is for sales, customer service, or, or, or tech support? It is sales because... I make reservations for Hilton Diamond members and also 
I receive calls about customer service when they have issues in the room, mm -hmm. uh, when it is like not clean at all, or when something is delayed Complaints. or issues with points as well. Mm -hmm. yes, it is both like sales and customer service. Mm -hmm. Okay, that is mm -hmm. okay. And did you did you uh, have a special call? or a special thing that you heard that you are not understanding at all? Um, yeah, some, yeah, let's see. Uh, sometimes it is kind of difficult. For instance, yesterday, I didn't catch for example, very well what- For example, it's not for instance, yeah, it's for example. Mm -hmm. Oh, for example, yesterday I guess asked me if she needed to pay when, about the parking if it was in and out. She mentioned in and out, and I was like in and out. And I asked to the front desk, but they told me that it is like only one payment, like per nine, no, if she's in and out, like go out and come back. At the end, I catch it. What was the mean, you know? <laughs> yeah, but okay. Yeah, let me let me tell you something that probably you don't know because you are a one hundred percent living in 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 El Salvador. There mm -hmm. is a famous restaurant that is specialized in hamburgers. Uh -huh. So uh, they are like uh, not the normal brands. They are not Wendy's. They are not Burger King or something like that. This brand is specialized in potatoes, French fries. Uh, they have the most fresh French fry, French fries, because they are cooking in the exactly in your order. They are making your potatoes at the same time, so they are like roots. Because I don't know if you have heard that, but when potatoes uh, are with French fries are are fresh. They are very long because they are roots. But if you see that they are very short, they are not natural. They are not fresh. So mm -hmm. in this case, these these people is is serving the is serving the food in a kind of a baskets, a red baskets, como que fueran panes migueleños, así. Y ponen el montón de papas bien largas, como que son raíces. Y las hamburguesas, vea. Pero son grandes, no son pequeñas, son como las kids, the, the kids, digamos. They are good. So the, the, brand, the name of the brand is in and out Because oh. you always, it is 24 hours, 24-7. These restaurants are 24-7. So you can go in to have the hamburgers and eat, to sit down and, and you gather with your friends, or you can take it out. As, as a, as a um, out of service. Mm, um, so it's in and out. Everything, also, so everywhere you can have the, the, the hamburgers. So that is why he asked, uh, the client asked him in and out. In and out is, uh, it is if it's a, a he or if she were asking if they have to pay for parking, even though they are out just to reserve the, the, the place. So anytime they come in, they can find a place. But if, if, you're, if you're just charging, for example, you're staying a night and you're paying eight hours, that would be only eight hours. Some people uh, used to do that, but just, just for the night and then they leave because they are traveling. So that is that is why the person asks you in and out if it's to stay there or also could be that you have to pay even though the car is not there just to reserve the place. Correct. That is that is the concept. Mm -hmm. Correct. Yes, because when because for that type of topics it is directly you know with the front desk with the person that is currently at the hotel. That's why I decided yeah. to call them and ask. If she will need to pay a next, but no, he mentioned that it's going to be just the rate per night, but it is not based on if she it is like in and out. 
Yeah, it is. That is, All right. is that the is or maybe they are parking and someone else is taking them out. So they need to know if they can leave the car there and if they have to pay. Otherwise, they will bring the car because it would be cheaper for them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, so another question that you have? I would like to ask you about a recommendation because I would like to... Mm -hmm. I don't know if the next year it's going to be okay for me to have a cycle like out of the country. It is like, um, como le dicen, uh, intercambio. I don't know. It <laughs> different university because they provide different. Correct. I should do like a, a test, you know, for the toys. Mm -hmm. They should be like intermediate or, but it's going to be better, you know, to have advanced level, to have the opportunity to have these chains. I would love, you know, to to do that just one um, cycle, like six months. Mm -hmm. in, I don't know if in Canada or at US. I'm not very sure, but it is one of the two options to okay. have the opportunity. At US, no. And that's why I'm trying to at the US. Mm -hmm. When you are using US, you're uh, you're talking about a specific uh, country. Remember when you are talking a specific, we use the because we are not talking general. So you can say okay. the United States if you're having the the oh sorry United States without the is when you're pronouncing the complete name. But if you're using the abbreviations, you say the it says the US. The US. Oh. The US, uh -huh, with the. Cuando usa US, tiene que usar el artículo de. Pero si dice el país de un solo, United States, no usa de. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The US. It is D when it start with uh with no with vowel right. Mm -hmm. D because sometimes it's confusing as a D or is that. Mm -hmm. Can be both. Can be both or sometimes it's just D. Oh. D is like a D, como una D dormida. No pronuncian ni la I ni la ni la ni la. Depende en qué zona esté de los Estados Unidos. Porque da es como un poquito más, como más indio. Ajá, ajá. En cambio, como de que si le haces da, así solo el sonido, ahí sí está bien. O sea, no es, es intermedio. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, and sometimes I watch like a videos on YouTube, but I don't know in specific because you know, learning is Spanish. It is at this moment right now. I don't have like an advanced level English, and I was thinking, right, if it's going to be like a hard to do that, but I would like just to get the experience, you know. Mm -hmm. But I don't know what to do during these six months. I would like to be ready, you know, for the next year. Okay, that is. But good. I don't know if you have. On um, like um let's see recommendation where I can practice probably listening like mm. a page on YouTube listening mm -hmm. I left two be two links in the in the WhatsApp group that is the it okay. is British but they they is is like um stories we were reading yesterday Sherlock Holmes and that is um my objective doing that because this is a basic level it's simple past but you are making descriptions also for the people and we are using uh, verbs and the the thing that you have to press practice the most 
is when we are joining the words. For example, when, when people is, uh, for, uh, for, for example, when they say got it, that is too, uh, the, the got is too strong. Um, they are changing to an R, a Latin R, como ere. So we are saying got it, got it. So I put the people to read in order to make them to uh, get a speed so they can make these contractions on the, on the, on when, when they are reading because they are uh, like, I got it in the, it's too, um, como macheteado. <laughs> it's, it's, it's not fluid. So that is, it's not, uh, it's not fluent. So I, 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 in that, uh, with basic level, you are practicing these contractions. And then also, when you are imagining the situation that is happening in the book and you are reading and you are interested in the in the in the in the thing that is happening you are making your brain recording the situation in english so anytime you want to understand what is happening you will go to english because your information is stored in english so that is a changing, making a crossover from Spanish to English. Yeah, at one at one moment, you will be translating, but it won't be making sense for you. If you read it in English, that will be making sense. That is, uh, you have uh, an understanding in English and not in Spanish for that. No sé si le ha pasado a usted que a veces lo dice en español, eh, lo trata de traducir y no puede. Pero cuando lo dice en inglés ya le hace sentido. Entonces eso significa que ya su mente está más en inglés. O sea, que el lenguaje ya está más avanzado, pues que ya, ya piensa y entiende y mira y desarrolla en inglés. Eso es lo que hace la lectura. The other thing mm -hmm. is Netflix. Put Netflix at your level. I think you can do it. Mm. Uh, captions in English too. So you can see what are they um, say, saying. And also the reading is in English. So if you didn't catch uh, on listening, you're reading. So you, you can see how the words are pronounced and, uh, and you are in, both are in English. And then uh, maybe I think you can do in one month or two months and then just leave the titles. Leave the titles away. So you can you can practice the the only English without translation. Yes, listening. Uh-huh, just uh -huh. listening. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. But it should be like with some movies that I already watched, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. With subtitles at the beginning and yes, with the audio in English. But uh, there is a people people that is translating in Netflix is not one hundred percent English or from the United States. I apply for that. <laughs> they are looking for people in Latin America that wants to translate. So sometimes there is no one hundred percent native English. And you will see that they make mistakes because people is pronouncing another thing and the titles are not correct. So that is why I, I encourage you to begin uh, with listening and writing and reading in English. And then you can go only listening. Okay, thank you. Yeah, I'm mm -hmm. going to... Mm -hmm. To practice that also try to begin with um i don't know if you like a kids kids movies película de niño no. you don't like it ah oh, come on you no, like I it am... you don't like uh minions no uh -uh. <laughs> no no yeah, because the, that English is not too specialized. 
that English is not too specialized because if you are going to another one, that would be harder for you. So begin with kids right. and then you can move to another kind of movie until okay, your I'm English. Going to start with trick. Huh? I am going to start with Shrek. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Shrek is good, but Shrek is not for children. Shrek mm. is not for children. If you see it, it's not for children. All right. <laughs> no, no. Okay. Shrek yeah. is not for children. <laughs> I mean, I mean like um, I mean like minions or maybe esta de Disney, the Frozen. Y... No sé, esa más 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 fresona, ve. <laughs> esas yeah. son, ajá, esas son las de niños. Okay. Before I watch Friends, but later I don't know what happened, but Netflix delete this series from there. Mm -hmm. And and on YouTube, it sometimes, because it is not like in order, right, that I can find all the, I, uh -huh. the capture of, I don't know, capital? Chapter. Chapter. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You cannot find the chapters and episodes. No, I was watching it like in order, but later. I, friends, do you I like friends, go. really? Yes. Uh, to what? practice English, to practice English. <laughs> okay, I don't like friends. I, I well, well, maybe I recommend you. Um, se llama esta serie? Where it was appearing, uh, Megan, Megan Markle. Megan Markle. Mm -hmm. Luna de Leyes, no me acuerdo cómo se llamaba. Mm. Law and Order? No. I don't remember. Or maybe you can like CSI. That is not in Netflix, but could help you too. CSI Miami. Or criminal minds criminal minds that that can help you too criminal minds mm -hmm. it sounds interesting <laughs> uh -huh. i like that that's why i chose sherlock holmes okay so criminal gonna... minds you said right see criminal minds that's the name or you can you can if you are very techy you can go to, to csi new york that is cyber Cyber CSI. Esas son casos que son como de tecnología. Mm. Mm -hmm. The only city that I finished, it was the money hate. No, I, I have finished a lot in Netflix. I, I don't, don't have need... Netflix right now, but hmm? I don't have Netflix right now, but I want to. I want to see two, two, two series, but both are in Spanish. <laughs> I want to see the third part of Luis Miguel. <laughs> and the other, well, I, that's my favorite, my favorite singer at all. I, I love him oh. since, since I was 10. So uh, the other is La Reina del Sur. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I was thinking she's gonna say very the Betty La Fea. Esa es la número uno siempre ahí. La number one. I don't like Betty La Fea. I like I like La Reina del Sur and the other is the uh in my enemy or no in um uh, intimate enemy from Alejandra oh. no Fernanda Castillo. Fernanda Castillo, I love that that person. I love this teacher. It's a kind of. Me me gustan bastante las que son como de heroínas, como de mujeres que son bien bien importantes. Me gusta mucho eso. Como feministas. Uh -huh, so yeah. I love I love it. I remember one that I never finished and is no longer available. Is uh. uh what was the name? The Black Widow. Black Widow is the name of the of the the real name of the most famous woman in the narco in the narco world. She's from Colombia, and she was the first one uh, 
before Pablo Escobar Gaviria. She was the first one uh, selling drugs in, May, in Miami. Wow, oh, really? a very intelligent woman and a very intelligent mm. person. It, it, it existed for real, it existed. She, she were, uh, sorry, she was killed by a gun, a gun shooter. Uh, when she was, she was very old, but she was preparing a meal for her family. And she was at the meat, at the meat shop, uh, preparing a lunch and a gun man, and he, and he killed her. Then everyone was thinking she was a lovely lady, a lovely, a lovely, uh, a lovely elder lady. But then they discovered it was, she was known as the queen of the mafia. Ella fue la que inventó el concepto de andar en moto y tirar balacera. Ella lo inventó. Ella metía droga en los zapatos de plataforma en los años 60. Metía droga en los zapatos de plataforma y mandaba modelos para que los agentes de migración se quedaran boca abierta y no les revisaran nada. Así pasó millones de droga, pero millones de droga y nunca la agarraban. Se llama la vida negra porque a todos sus esposos los mató. Mató a tres. <laughs> oh my God. That sounds mm -hmm. yeah, interesting as well. But I couldn't find it. Oh, woman. Ana Maria, welcome. How can you do today? Hello, you teacher. <laughs> sí, thank you. Okay, eh, no we, were, we were having no conversation. Había, ay, no me había conectado porque estaba liquidando caja chica. Oh. Nosotros estamos eh, haciendo un nivel de conversación para practicar porque um, ella trabaja en call center, pero este, no habla de ciertos temas, sino que Tania solo habla como de las cosas del, de la cuenta. ¿verdad? De trabajo. Ajá. Ajá, entonces Ajá, necesita. Ya. Y como ahí hay un, un, un flujo de conversación ya establecido que ella tiene que repetir porque así es la cuenta, ¿verdad? Es, es la obligación. Entonces uh -huh. ella me dice que hay veces que no puede, hay cosas que le dicen que no, 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 a saber, ¿verdad? Que son formas de hablar de allá y no puede hablar más de lo que, como que solo se mantiene en lo que ahí se habla. Pues. Ah, ah, sí, ay, es que sí me imagino que es complicado. Mucho más para mí, ella ya tiene un poquito más de, de experiencia porque al menos lo practica, yo no. Mm. She was asking me about uh, where to practice English, and I was recommending her um, to read in English, uh, to have this interesting reading, or uh, buy a book also, you can buy a book. So remember, uh, una gente educada tiene que platicar cuando lee, ¿verdad? Entonces, si uno no lee, no habla de nada interesante. Entonces, este, si usted compra libros en inglés, va a tener vocabulario y que hablar con gente interesante. Los clientes, uh -huh. cuando ven que uno es educado y que uno les habla más de cosas, este, platican más con uno. Mm. Ah, bueno, yo la Biblia en inglés tengo, oh, pero that's, tengo that's que okay. comprar más. Sí. Pero la Biblia en inglés es un poquito elevadita, porque la forma uh, de hablar sí. de la Biblia es como, aún la de español es una forma de hablar bien, es un castellano. Sí. Ajá, entonces sí, cuando lo traducen, eh, acuérdese que en, en, en inglés no existe esa de vos fuisteis eh, acogidos por el espíritu. O sea, eso no existe Ajá. en inglés. <risa> <risa> eso no existe. Así que es un poquito más elevado, sino que le estaba recomendando a ella que viera Netflix, pero que empezara por las películas de los niños, vea. Ajá. Pero de los niños así más chiquitos para que, bueno, la verdad es que yo no sé en Netflix cómo estará porque las películas de niños no son de niños, o sea, son bien, son bien heavy. En, entonces le pueden ir subiendo el nivel, ¿verdad? A los tipos de... Lástima que en inglés en Netflix no hay un tipo de tipo como de... I don't know if you have it, like, just like uh, 13, ¿cómo era? Las 13, no sé qué. La de la chera que se suicidó, ¿cómo se llama? 
¿Qué fue famosa esa serie? I don't know. I don't know. Es una serie que se trata de una, de una muchacha que le hacen bullying. A ella, a ella este, de eso se trata. Entonces ella deja 13 audios. Se los deja a su mejor amigo, que también es como el, como el que él quiere con ella, ¿verdad? Como el que la adora, porque la, la niña es muy bonita. Entonces ella comete suicidio, porque no aguanta lo que le ha pasado. O sea, ella la siente, ella es nueva en el pueblo, pero... No, hay, hay varios como personas que estuvieron involucrados, sí. Hay un muchacho que es como el de más dinero, ¿verdad? Como el más rico, que este, tiene, una, tiene fiestas a cada rato. Y entonces ese chavo tiene una fiesta y ella llega. Y cuando llega, no sé cómo, en la fiesta, tomados y todo eso, la viola. Entonces mm. ella se siente, o sea, tan mal que no le puede explicar a nadie, no le puede decir a nadie, es hija única, los papás tienen un negocio ahí, un negocio así como de una tienda, digamos, vea. Entonces, este, ella se suicida y deja esos audios explicando cómo llegó hasta la conclusión que se tenía que suicidar. Ya la voy a buscar. Esa tiene un lenguaje un poquito más arriba, primero porque ya son temas adultos, ¿verdad? Dos también porque... Eh, ya es un nivel de adolescentes para que ustedes tengan temáticas con que platicar quiero ver creo que se llama 13 Reasons Why ajá, así se llama yo la vi completa 13 Reasons Why El, la, la, la protagonista se llama Catherine Langford es muy bonita y el que hace el, el papel del mejor amigo y enamorado de ella, porque los dos trabajan de... Uh, they, are, they are the ones that are uh, working like for Cinemark. They are in the, in, the, in the cabinet that is selling the tickets for the people, and both of them are working for the same time. So this is the only guy that is not... Uh, este es el único que no la mira con deseos sexuales, pero él la quiere. Entonces ella va dejando un audio a cada uno y a todos les deja un audio a cada uno de ellos. O sea, deja, ella tiene una experiencia con cada uno de ellos, con los 13, hombres y mujeres. Y quien la viola es el novio de una de ellas, de una chera que es bien bonita y que ella sabe que él la agarra como que es a saber qué y ella se da cuenta y le dice, ¿cómo permites esto? Que este hombre te trate como basura. Y, y to, a todos les da, en cada audio les dice sus verdades, o sea, y, y se quedan así como que, la verdad que el, ella no parecía, pero sí sabía muchas verdades y muchas cosas. Pero sí, esta serie fue súper sonada, casi como Crepúsculo. O esa es otra también que pueden ver, Crepúsculo. That is, um, how to say, Crepúsculo. No era Crepúsculo. Crepúsculo con, bueno, la 1, la 2 y la 3, la saga. That is, let me, let me see. They are movies. But let me see, it is, I, I don't find it in, the Twilight. Twilight. Twilight is Crepúsculo. Pero hay un poquito de cosas más elevadas, ¿verdad? Porque ahí hablan de vampiros de rituales y hay palabras rebuscadas por ratos porque mezclan bastante como historia, historia de varias cosas. Pero si le practica paz. ¿Ah? Su practica paz. Mm, not exactly, because if you go to Harry Potter, Harry Potter they are talking about for example the la máscara no sé qué o la cámara secreta. Chamber no sé qué se llama eso. The secret chamber. Porque como hacen conjuros, ¿verdad? Entonces en los conjuros ocupan lenguaje extraño. Y hablan también de, 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 de por ejemplo, de, de cosas bien como antiguas. Antiguas, o sea, que han pasado como... Uh, uh, it is like they are talking about something with very not common words, not common. For example, is wizard, magician. Uh, this, this is not common. Wizard, 
magician or or making the 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 things with the with the magic wand magic wand is la varita magica magic wand and they are pronouncing things that are not common so it, but if you want it you can do it um, for me is uh, i recommend you netflix or miami uh, csi miami because csi miami uh, En CSI Miami lo que pasa es que como es una serie de misterio y de ir averiguando como crímenes y cosas, lo que hay mucho en inglés es como guessing, guessing the, the words that we don't know by, eso es como meaning of the, of, the, of the contest. Nosotros vemos el contexto, vamos armando las piezas de lo que es la serie en sí. Ah, no, entonces este testigo no estuvo. Entonces, ¿quién fue? ¿Verdad? Entonces vamos entendiendo las palabras por el caso. O sea, estamos adivinando no solamente el caso, sino también estamos adivinando en inglés. ¿Qué es lo que estoy haciendo yo con Sherlock Holmes? Con la lectura que está ahí en WhatsApp. Entonces, ustedes eh, van adquiriendo conocimiento adivinando. Y eso es una técnica que se ocupa en inglés que se llama Meaning by the Context. Maybe you don't know a word in the sentence or in the paragraph. Hay, hay párrafos que lo ponen hacia propósito. Pero hay una palabrita rebuscada, por ejemplo, entrepreneurship. What is entrepreneurship? If I begin talking about entrepreneurship, you can guess what is, uh, what is the thing that I'm talking about. But if I say only, entrepreneurship is something that can make you grow. I don't know what is. But if I'm, uh, I mean, if I'm giving you details, for example, entrepreneurship is something that was uh, very common in pandemics because a lot of people lost their jobs and they uh, had to find, to be very creative, finding ways to earn money because they were like maybe not imagining they could make something by themselves and they will, uh, they were creating something new and they were following a business that they never know they could do it. What is entrepreneurship? Maybe. Emprendimiento. Right. Uh -huh. So you, you have an idea. Maybe you don't know the word in, in Spanish. Tal vez emprendimiento no es una palabra que ustedes conozcan ni sepan que es exactamente la traducción. Pero si yo les digo... Ah, entrepreneurship, y les digo de un solo la traducción, ya no aprenden más. Porque ya les di todo, ¿verdad? En cambio, si yo les hago la description, entonces ustedes ya van como, eh, como, como girando las palabras en su, en su mente, hallándole significado y queriendo saber qué es la palabra que no saben con todo eso. Eso es lo, eso es lo más interesante. So, in this case, uh, every every series that are talking about mystery like this, like Twilight, um, crep, eh, ¿cuál es la otra? Twilight, eh, Harry Potter, or maybe The Lord of the Rings, The Lord of the Rings. Uh, maybe you can find also, um, pero que son largas, verdad? Que tienen varias películas, cada una, que son sagas porque eso les va a ir ayudando a que vayan, como cada una tiene que ver con la otra, ¿verdad? O sea, ya sabemos que Hermione, eh, Harry Potter y el otro, no me acuerdo cómo se llama, este, ya sabemos que está eh, Moldor, Moldor, que están en Dumbledore, que, I don't know, I don't know, <ríe> ah, no me las puedo todas, vea, he visto pedaciado pero ya saben cómo es la serie. Entonces ya más o menos, eh, lo que pasa es que ahí hay palabras en inglés británico que las van a combinar con el inglés normal, porque la temática es, es la J. R. R. J. R. R. J. no sé qué, Rowling, es británica, es inglesa. Entonces ella pone palabras de su, de su vocabulario. Let me see the other one that I can recommend to you. Mm -mm. Mm, in English, 
sorry. Thank you. Thank you. 13 reasons why. Mm, another one. Eh. Movies to learn English. Mm, yeah, Harry Potter. Uh, ah, Hunger Games. Hunger Games. Los Juegos del Hambre también. Esa también okay. la, pueden, la pueden ocupar. Mm, lo importante es que sean eh, como diferentes versiones de lo mismo. Para que ustedes ya tengan en la mente más o menos el contexto de la película. Y eso les va a ayudar a entender más porque ya tienen elementos. Pero si la ven desde cero y es una película de la que no saben nada. Les va a costar más porque aparte de ir traduciendo, están adivinando de qué está la película. Es más difícil. O sea, en español a veces uno lleva la mitad de la película y bueno, ¿y este quién es? Vean, no, no entiende la película. Es bien entender hasta el final. Entonces, eh, también las de, tal vez, tal vez las de Tom Cruise, las de, estas las de Imposible, Misión Imposible. Esas también, esas también puede ser. De hecho, aquí está la. La de Tom Cruise. <risas> ¿Cuál es? Ajá, Misión Imposible. <risas> Misión Imposible. Eh, quiero ver, o películas que tienen pocos diálogos. El Náufrago, por ejemplo. El Náufrago tiene pocos diálogos. Con Tom Hanks. Eh, quiero ver... ¿Qué otra? De las que estoy viendo aquí. Mm. No, solo esa. Si le gustan románticas, uh -huh. uh, si le gustan románticas, ¿Ya? romántica comedia y romántica. Comedia. Romántica. Comedia, you like it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, aunque en comedia ocupan bastantes palabras que son como, como que solo ellos entienden, ¿verdad? Como, que, como cuando nosotros decimos, ¡púchica! O sea, <ríe> eh, o decimos, ¡dale! Entonces, expresiones que solo ellos las hacen. Mm. Comedia podría ser este... Mm. Mm. Mm, hay una, ya le voy a decir. Hay una canción que es famosa. Mm -hmm. Oh, there is, this, this is the one you like, you love it. Es, uh, en español es donde están las rubias. Son dos policías que son negros, pero se disfrazan de... ¿Por qué se disfrazan? Ajá, y son dos gemelas, ah, como gemelas sí, que son sí. unas hermanas. Uh -huh. Esa puede ver en inglés. Ok. Esa puede ver, quiero otra comedia. Very crazy, that one. <laughs> uh -huh. mm. Pero no me acuerdo... Ah, pueden ver todas las de las de este hombre que se llama Gay Fucker. ¿Cómo se llama este hombre? Eugenio Berbés también. Ay, pero él tiene, él tiene, tiene inglés terrible, igual que las almas Hayek. A ellos no los miren. Ok. <risa> okay. No. Ay, pensé en... <risa> ellos no. Uh -huh. Sí, ya le hicieron burla a... Uh... Ya le hicieron burla a Eugenio por el inglés que tiene. Ay, ¿dónde se llama? No me sale el nombre en, en, en inglés, el de este. Solo en español. White Chicks. Oh, White Chicks. 
white chick se llaman, vaya, imagínese, en español, ¿y dónde están las rubias? Y en inglés, white chicks, chicks es, es mejilla, white chicks son mejillas blancas, así se llama en, en inglés, buenísimo, buenísima esa película, me encanta. También pueden ver, este, bueno, no es, muy, no es muy comedia, la de la Sandra Bullock, también. Ella tiene bastante comedia, sobre todo cuando es policía. Mm, hay una que es romántica, pero no es comedia. Pero es así, es algo. Ah, pero tiene un... Pero él es, escriben. Escriben bastante en inglés porque de, no sé si la han visto en la Casa del Lago, de Lake House. Sí, ya la vi. Ya la vio. Y ya vio cuando escriben. Sí. Ay, Well, I don't use to watch movies. <laughs> Probably that's why. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm... Mm -hmm. For that time, right? <laughs> Just to try, yeah. Because they are writing and they are uh, like maybe t uh, telling you how they are pronouncing things or imagining. The other one is um, ¿De qué otro género le gusta? About marketing. <laughs> About marketing. What? Business. Business. Yeah. The business uh, es business. esa que le digo yo, la serie de la Megan Marco. Ellos hablan de negocios y de, y de leyes. Ya voy a ver cómo se llama la mujer. La, How can I write it down? The name is... of the movie. Huh? How can I write it down the name? Megan. MSN Mike, ESN Echo, GSM uh, Golfo, ASN Alpha, and as in November. And the last name is MSN Mike, ASN Apple, Ars and Robert, KSN Kilo, LSN Lima, ESN Edward. As me aprendí, vea, le dije que vamos a ver el spelling. Vaya, se llama. The Alphonet. Stick alphabet, right? Like A S in Yeah. Yeah. I don't. Yes, I, don't yeah. know, I don't know uh, how to. Oh, but Megan is with H. I see between the G and the and the A is H. But let me see what is the series. Oh my God, I cannot find it. Why not? Yes, she was playing Rachel. That is the name of the of the. That is the name of the series. Series. Okay. But I don't know. It's uh. Let me watch the filmography. Okay. Okay. Miami también la esta. Se llama. Suits. Suits. Suits is um trajes. Suits. Esa es la, la serie de ella. Suits. Ok. Ahí hablan de leyes, de negocios, de todo tipo, pero situaciones adultas, ¿verdad? Todo el mundo que rodea al abogado, a los abogados. Obviamente hay hombres de negocio, ¿verdad? Uh, another thing about business. Mm, no, maybe no. Maybe no, I cannot. De serie de Netflix. It's the one of the history about McDonald's. I watched that one, but in Spanish. What? About I, I don't I don't remember the name, but it is about McDonald's, how they create a company. I know I know the the story. Yeah, I know the story. Okay, but it's also interesting the one from from Kentucky Fried Chicken. Uh, yeah, that is yeah, I don't know, but it's also in, in I saw it in in YouTube. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. Esa es interesante. Okay. También la de WhatsApp. Uh -huh. Let me tell you the story from WhatsApp. WhatsApp is uh, the creative or WhatsApp was uh, European. 
is European, but now he works for Google or no, for Facebook, because Facebook uh, bought WhatsApp. He was uh, in the middle of a war and they decided with Hermon to migrate to the United States. But, their fa but his father stayed in, in that country. I don't remember the, the name of the country, but he, at that time, the, the phone calls, international calls were very expensive very expensive and the mother was working as housekeeping and he was working in a supermarket and sometimes they were uh, spending all of the money in one call only a month for the father then they they began to to to, to say that it wasn't uh, it was not worthy to to pay a lot of money. So he liked always programming. At that time, a company that was that was called Yahoo was beginning. And he uh, was working with for this company programming. And at this company, he invented a way to call without paying just to be in contact with his father. Then he, uh, but this was for 10 years maybe that they were here in the United States and the father was in, in Europe. So when they finally, finally, uh, he was earning more money in Yahoo because he was good in programming. So uh, he went to, he, they traveled, they traveled to the, to, the, to the country to see her father, his father again, but his father, has passed away. So he couldn't, he couldn't see his dad again. So that's the story of WhatsApp. Just, just because he wanted to call someone that he couldn't because it was so expensive, uh, he created WhatsApp. Now a lot of people is talking by WhatsApp without paying, but he, he is, uh, now he is a uh, multimillionaire because he sold this to Facebook, but uh, his dad is not, is not with him anymore. Of course, he, uh, he uh, purchased a new home for his mom and, and for him, and they have, but they have not millionaire houses. They have different houses. But the thing is that when he sold WhatsApp, he put only one condition to Mark Zuckerberg. And it was to sign the contract in the building where his mother and him were living. Es como que yo le diga a alguien, mire, si está bueno, pero se lo voy a firmar en el condominio de, de Libu. Algo así, <laughs> donde yo vivía con mi mamá, para acordarse que ahí llegaron y ahí vivían. Ahí vivían y de ahí él trataba de hablarle por teléfono a su papá. Se les iba casi todo el dinero del mes por hablarle a él unos minutos, porque era tan cara la llamada que no podían. Este, eh, y así pasaron años hasta que un día viajaron para volverlo a ver y resultó que el papá ya estaba muerto. Hacía mucho tiempo. Y por eso es que ellos ya no pudieron escucharlo. Pero como no sabían ¿Cómo? ¿Verdad? No había internet, no había celulares, no había nada para poder, este, para poder este, contactarlo. Él murió en la guerra y ya no supieron nada de él. Entonces él, tratando de comunicarse con su papá, fue que inventó llamar sin pagar. So, did you know the story of WhatsApp? Mm, no, but yes, it is interesting, you know, to know because and uh, it was arose about a need that they had that's why they decided to create it yeah yeah, yeah. a lot of people doesn't know it because uh, the the it was like uh it was very sad because uh because i didn't know that someone uh, i thought it was for money or I thought it was technology, but no, it was uh, 
uh, it was a real, a, a for real, uh, a real story from the, from the, from the, from the, from the life, and uh, it was like uh, it, this. This guy was uh, this guy was like playing games all the time, playing games. But the, he wanted also something to not have ads or, 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 solo quería conversar, no quería que tener anuncios, no quería tener emoticones, ni montón de muñequitos, ¿ves? Él quería solo conversar. Entonces, eso fue lo que le hizo eh, fundar eh, WhatsApp. So, uh, this is like a very, very sad story, but at the end is some is something that demonstrated us how far we can go if we propose ourselves to improve. Mm -hmm. At least he, exactly. he at least he has he has uh, his mom, his mom with him. But the, the dad was alone totally uh, having the war with him. And uh, it was very sad when I saw, when I, I don't know where or how I, I knew the story. And I said, oh, wow. So trying to contact his father, he, he found WhatsApp. Okay, kids, 2058, this is the last class. Thank you for having joined the, the course. Uh, always improve. Don't think that something is impossible. Uh, don't be ashamed if you work for a call center. That's what I began. And that's where I improved my English a lot. And that's why I have a, a yo trabajo siempre en un call center, pero Ya no tengo, uh, tengo una posición muy, muy, muy buena ahora. Ya es corporativa. Ya es este, otra cosa. Entonces, tal vez comencemos abajo, pero podemos saltar a cuestiones de la oficina y ahí, pues, vamos a ganar realmente muy bien y vamos a, a, a ver lo que realmente son esas, empresas, son esas empresas del otro lado de la moneda. Okay, any comment or algo que hayan sentido del curso, les ayudó, no les ayudó, hubieran querido mejorar o, o, o sintieron que mejoraron? Well, I went to first say thank you because you was not only like a teacher, right? Because as well, you were sharing like your experience. You was providing suggestions, how to improve. <clears throat> like at this time, right? It is not anymore a class. You just could say, we already finished, right? Bye-bye, but no. Yeah, you <laughs> them as well, right? Yes. And that's okay. very nice. Thank you. Thank you. It's not, well, I, I like teaching. I like teaching. But in this case, it's like uh, sharing. Sharing things is not exactly. It's, it's not it's not uh, it's, o sea yo soy como ustedes pues no es que la teacher y nada o sea yo era así también y, y pueden llegar a eso y mucho más Ana María ay pero se lo voy a decir en español teacher Vaya, que ahorita el número se me están cruzando por todos lados ¿por qué le cruzan números? <ríe> lo que pasa es que he estado todo el día en una cuestión de liquidar caja chica entonces o sea, Horror. tenía presión porque tengo que entregar eso ya. Es cierto, hoy es 28, ¿verdad? Sí. Es más que en las que... vacaciones, peor todavía. Ay, pues por eso <risa> es la <risa> carrera. Entonces, créanme que sí, realmente ha sí, sido un día bien pesado y solo Ay, ha sido de números. Cita. Números, números, números y más números. Pero okay. ya, ya al menos lo terminé. Pero sí, teacher, a mí me encantó las clases con usted. Sí. Quizás sea la primera, la primer teacher que nos, nos ha, ha sido como más exigente, pero que también nos ha dado consejos también para... Tengo para fama de exigente, para... pero pues porque, porque después, sabe, porque al final ven la mejora, la diferencia, 
no, y, no, claro, yo no sé que uno aprende, uno aprende no porque, no por uno, a veces uno aprende también por el profesor que le toca, porque si el profesor es aguado, Ajá. uno no aprende. Así es. Y si el profesor le mete a uno, al principio uno, poche, cabeza, pero después, esto más enseñó la teacher, dicen, porque tal vez tocan con otras personas que ni papá saben. <risa> ok. Sí, pero a mí sí me ha encantado, le agradezco mucho también, espero que, que se cuide mucho y que todo lo que platicamos ayer, todo salgo bien. <ríe> que todo okay. sea para bien. Thank sí, you. Sí. Ya me están fregando que me tengo que ir para la otra clase. Hmm. <ríe> Thank you. Ay. Cuídense bueno, mucho. Cuídense mucho. Good luck. Adiós. Adiós. Bye. 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 Eh, yo tengo una duda. Ay, ya me tengo que ir. Apúrese. <ríe> Sí, vaya, la otra semana que vacación, no sé si nos van a estar contactando para el otro módulo o algo Pero, así, Después ¿no? de vacación, porque creo que van a empezar hasta más para allá. Ah, va. entonces sí, gracias. Ok, Salud. great, bye.